rightly or wrongly, I'm regarded as India's first cardiologist, woman cardiologist. You can judge for yourself, as I'm laying before you, my whole life story. I was born in Burma, British Burma, on the 20th of June, 1917, under the care of a Burmese mid nurse midwife in my father's house. I studied in a Burmese school. I passed high school very well. After passing first in Burma, I had to go to the university. I joined the University of Rangoon, and from there I went on to the Medical College of Rangoon, where also I did very well. I passed as the first best outgoing student with distinctions in medicine, preventive medicine, pathology, uh, anatomy, physiology, and forensic science. After that, I had to finish my compulsory internship in medicine and in obstetrics and gynecology. At the end of my, my internship, I had to fly to India in a haste because the war broke out with the Japanese and the Americans. So we were reunited with our family, and my father came back to India. After that, I left for England for further studies. I did my postgraduate studies, first in London, then in Sweden, and lastly in the USA, both under Helen Tausig, who was a pediatric cardiologist, and Dr. Paul Dudley White, who was an adult cardiologist. I came back to India, and I worked in three places. First, Lady Harding Medical College. Second, Maulana Azad Medical College as Director Principal and Head of Cardiology in G.V. Bandh Hospital. So after retiring from Maulana Azad in, in 1977, I went into practice for a while and then joined the National Heart Institute and All India Heart Foundation as the head. The All India Heart Foundation had been founded partly by me, by all the doctors in India, at the behest of Dr. Paul Dudley White. So from that's where I am still now, and I must say, it's been a very satisfying period.